All right, what's up, guys? What's up, YouTube? This is NCAA Football 07. It's my FCS Dynasty with the Citadel today. We are taking on Georgia Southern. Um, and first thing I need to look, I'm going to check some uh, formations real quick. And while I'm doing this, um, we, uh, we're on the uh, FCS Dynasty, like I said. Uh, if you watched the first video, it was against Prairie View A&M, our week one win and i checked the rosters and they are i think they are maybe the worst roster in the game and i did not realize that <laughs> um i got them confused with jackson state uh, so when i was setting this up which is actually the very first video when i set this dynasty up i, I was trying to put two mississippi state or uh, two mississippi schools to replace um the two in the sec west and Apparently, Prairie View A&M is in the um, is in located in Texas, and Jackson State, which is also was in that same FCS conference, is located in Mississippi. So, I mean, I, it's okay; it's not going to matter. We, it's nothing to do about it now. But um, we got the win, but it was it was pretty close. Um, we had a couple return touchdowns that were actually the difference in the game. I mean, I say that, but I feel like our offense was starting to click in the second half, but we returned two touchdowns, and, you know, that takes away two offensive possessions. My memory card sometimes does that. Just ignore that. <laughs> I'm loading the game on. This is on PC XS2 uh, in 4K, so the quality should be pretty nice. So Georgia Southern is actually better than me, guys. Look at this overall. They have... A pretty good defense um, and a solid, you know, well, not good, but they're better than me a little bit. Uh, their first loss, they say they lost to Northwestern, and Northwestern's in the FCS in this game uh, because I switched out the Big Ten. So let's get it going. Um, so Georgia Southern, they are located in Statesboro, Georgia. So I don't know a whole lot about them. Uh, I know a little bit more about Georgia State. But uh, let's look at it on the... i got to pull it up on the map real quick. I just want to see where that's located in relation to Atlanta and South Carolina. So, yeah, uh, a bit of a surprise. It's in South Georgia. <laughs> it's actually pretty close to Savannah. And the Citadel is located in Charleston, South Carolina. So for this home game, let's kick it off. Short kickoff again. That's, we got a problem with these kickoffs. But... Uh, yeah, so Georgia Southern, uh, it's probably a pretty quick trip for them to Charleston for this game today. So they run the triple option, guys. We're going to have to go with some man defense, I think, because I don't want to sit back in the zone and, you know, just let them, you know, get 8 to 10 yards every play. It's not going to work. So, oh, that was a weird, that was a weird delay there. I mean, we were there. We sent the blitz on that linebacker. Or no, we, I mean, he was in the spy and just took off with the quarterback. So, um, yeah, I mean, we're going to be running a lot of spies. Uh, I'm not going to. I don't. I want to. I don't want to just send everybody a blitz because if they happen to swing it outside, they're probably going to have more speed than us at running back compared to our linebackers. They're coming out throwing. Oh, get it! Nice. Got the pick. So they come out throwing on second down. We take it right, right away from them. That was a nice... I actually read that play really well. That was the first time I've actually made a play with this guy on defense. I struggled last game a little bit. But yeah, I think he was throwing to the other guy coming across the field, and we just happened to be guarding the same route, the uh, kind of like a deep slant. So we got it on the 50-yard line. Good start for the defense. We're going to run just a simple option, no uh, triple option on this one. See if we can get our speed to the outside. I got a great job, but we've got the lateral. Can we break one? Nah, I drooped right into him. It's okay. So, um, one thing I need to do is auto name the roster. I keep forgetting. I forgot to do that last game. Um, I mean, it gives you, I mean, it'll just generate random names for these guys. Um, I gotta look up the the actual year of this roster. We gotta jump there. But I think we're gonna get yeah, we're gonna get the first down anyway. Yeah, we'll take uh, take the first down. I mean, this guy's only a sophomore, man. Like, even if we do recruit a really good running back, like he's probably he's still gonna be the starter. He's a 78. 
I mean, he'll gain a little bit and probably gain some. I mean, he'll gain some in training in the off season, so he'll be well ahead of any probably even a five star recruit to be honest. That guy we got in season recruiting, if we could land him by by chance. Oh, I took that back in. That was uh, I mean, that was risky, but we uh, found the hole to the right side of the line. They overloaded the left, and we just took it up took it up the middle to the right. So let's go speed option, I think. Actually, I don't remember what button I pushed. I'm going to go speed option. I'm pretty sure that's what I got. Yeah, I'm going to motion that guy. It looks like they're in man. We'll just leave it leave it that way. They'll run them back. Oh, nice block there. Look at that receiver, man. So we're getting some blocking. We're setting up outside running. I, I mean, their defense is not bad. And when I say not bad, I mean, like, you're comparing 60s and 50s and a few 70s scattered around. So, um, you know, obviously there's, there's still plenty of people in the 40s. Like, my whole defensive line is all 40 overall guys, <laughs> except for, like, one player is maybe a 52. So let's take it to the left this time. Let's bring in the back up. Let's bounce it out. Can we get there? I think we got it. Break attack. Nope, we got it. Touchdown. Let's go. All right, so that was that was what I was wanting to do last game. I was wanting to come out. I, I came out with the triple option in the last game, and it, I kind of struggled a little, a little bit. So this is why I'm going to mix it up a little bit. I'm not going to run triple option every single play. Uh, there may be some games I do. Like Georgia Southern happens to be a pretty decent team in the conference. So uh, I know there's going to be some teams that are a little weaker. Like Prairie View and I, I mean, if, if I had played that game later in the season, I probably would have beaten them much worse than I did. Uh, but you know that was the first game. I don't. I've never played with this team before. Well, I have, but not recently. I mean, this is a 15-year-old game. <laughs> uh, heavy win. Look at that. I didn't even notice that. Let's kick it low. That kind of sh that was weird. I aimed it to the left, and we kicked it off to the to the right to the the running back there, the dot guy. So good start. Uh, let's see if we can keep going with the. Let's let's send a blitz this time, but we're gonna spy our uh, our nickel corner over here. That's actually our safety. He's playing the nickel, but well, that was weird. Toss straight to the right, but look at that coverage. Nice nice tackle there. Got to the outside. That's what I'm I'm most nervous about them running to the outside. I, I can handle I can handle if they break off a ten yard run up the middle. But like this formation, like I have the same formation. They get bunched up and if they swing that if they swing it around to the outside and we can't cover it, it's gonna make me a little nervous. So that's look at this. I mean I it was a little delay, kinda weird, but I don't know where that ball's going. <laughs> He was he was running right, but there was the the sweep coming off to the to the left side of the formation. I thought if he hands it off there, all my guys are running right. I mean, we don't have the speed to keep up with there. I mean, our corners, our, our, this corner, and maybe a, this corner's good. The linebacker's good, but like look, they're running option here. Oh, and he faked me out. They didn't fake me out. He faked out the the linebacker there. A good play. So it's gonna be tricky. Um, Defending the triple option, if you do not have a good D-line, it is really hard because you got to start mixing in some blitzes. Uh, like, look, now they're going right, but we're there. We're there. No game. Loss of one, maybe. So it's, it's tough. I mean, we have no defensive line. Like, these guys, no disrespect, again, but they're, they're not the strength of our team. Their offensive line's okay. So we got to rely on these blitzes, on these spies. And this time, now they're going this way. Nice tackle. That was good. So that dive tackle there is going to stop him. So now we're back. We're back in third and 14, I think. I mean, they're going to have to throw it here, I would think. They're in their shotgun formation, looks like. I mean, I'm going to spy that guy just in case. Let's get our corner over here. Where are they going with it? This guy's running out here. Oh, that's out of bounds. Yep. Good stop. All right, so that was our first legit stop aside from the turnover. So not only one first down, that's not bad. I wonder how good their punter is. 
I'm going for a little bit of a block here. I, I don't want to like. I want to set up our offense a little bit, but I might be able to break this. Oh, that guy's got speed. All right, so let's see what we can do here. Let's go with our. Um, let's go with an option out of the pro formation. They're gonna shift that way. Oh no, they shift back. Okay, this might work. Oh, this might work. Let's go. Oh, look at the blocking. He's gone. Can you catch him? No. Touchdown. I'm gonna dive into the end zone there. That's what. <laughs> You know, if I if I didn't have a quarterback with speed, that play doesn't work. But on the flip side, this guy he is such a good runner, and I've run some practice plays, and I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be able to throw the ball more than five yards downfield. I mean, it's just too inconsistent. <laughs> I did some practice plays, and the after the, right just a few before this game, and I mean he throws it in the dirt half the time. <laughs> or a pick, either one. So, we're going to stick to the run. It's working so far. Two touchdowns, 14 to nothing lead. Let's keep going. We're kicking it to that. I don't know why I keep kicking it to that guy. I'm, I'm not sure. I don't know if he's going to break. I had, my punter has to tackle him. I mean, we've got to get speed on those returns, man. It's like, just like that. I mean, the wind was in our face, but I mean, we can't start on the 43 every time. All right, so they're back in the shotgun again. There's a handoff. That was a good run that time. I mean, I can't get too comfortable. I mean, we're only we're up by the two touchdowns, but. Look, that's a nine-yard run Second right there really easily. So Let's go back to the uh, blitz here, and let's spy. There's an option. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, he didn't pitch it. I was, if he pitched that, man, that could have been a touchdown. So now they're coming with their... They're coming with their triple option now. Said they had four running backs in the formation. I don't know... Oh, get, oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh. I get nervous about those. <laughs> All it takes is a broken tackle and then he's gone. Because we have no speed coming the other way. Like, I think our linebacker is faster than our safeties. If I if I recall, I don't. I have to look at their stats again. But super eye this time. So who's their other uh, number seven? Is the dot guy? I thought they had. Who's the guy in the kickoff returns? I thought it was another one that was an impact. Maybe not. I don't know. Third and six. This is interesting because their whole playbook is open. What are they in? Oh, they're in super high again. They may go play action here. I, I don't really know. I'm not sure how to defend this because it's. You don't know which way they're going either. Let's play action. Oh, who am I covering? Oh, my goodness. Oh, I don't think that was my guy, but man, they got the touchdown. <laughs> oh, now our defense, one of our defensive ends injured. I don't know which one that guy is. Man. So that's the problem with the triple option. They get that formation and then they just break out with play action. I'm still going for the block kicks. I don't think I'll get one this season because I don't have any speed. And they blocked me that time, but all right. So, I mean, this is this is a ball game. It's not going to be a blowout. I really don't think I'm blowing out many teams this year. I might, but we'll see. They would get another return. That's up the middle, though. I was going to say maybe another return touchdown, but ugh, no. All right, give me one second, guys. I gotta check. Um, I keep. I need to save my audibles because um, none of these plays I'm going to use. Let's run. Uh, let's see. Let's get to the the. Uh, which formation do we want? Pistol. Yeah, let's stick with pistol trips. But it's gonna mix up the uh, the run plays.
So you only get five audibles, I think. So I'm gonna, I'm sticking to, I mean, I'm sticking to two formations that way. You know, I, I the worst thing, like, I mean, you can audible to a different formation, but if you, you know, like, a, if you have this flex bone tight where you don't have any receivers in the formation, like, and then try to audible the spread, it's just not gonna work, so. We're gonna keep it going with that. Uh, let's run out of the pro formation here. That right side is wide open. We can just get some blocking here. We got it. We did. Stiff, stiff arm him. <laughs> Shove him on the ground, man. This guy is so good. I mean, he's only a 78, but he's fast. And he's got break tackling. I mean, it's. I don't know. Maybe his carrying is not good. Maybe he fumbles some. I don't really know. But that's a <laughs> running away from the whole defense, man. So yeah, I want I'm gonna stick to triple option, but like I need to run some more standard run plays like this. I mean, I can't. The triple option in this game is not perfect. It's really fun to play with, but it's not perfect. And my O line is so bad that, um, and this is on Heisman difficulty. So, you know, there's, there's a good chance that the O line's gonna get pushed for right to the ground. So once we get a couple, you know, once we get one recruiting class in, I'll probably have a pretty decent O line. I'd say I could at least get, you know, I'll probably pick up four or five in this recruiting class. So. That was a better return, or a better coverage that time, only 20 yards. Oh, that's torn shoulder muscle, man. I mean, I hate that for him, but I'm glad it wasn't our, our impact linebacker. It would really change our season. Like, look at this guy. I mean, he just covers the whole side of the field. Really. If that guy gets hurt, I'm, I mean, I don't know what I'm going to do. All right, here's the problem with this formation. I'm in man coverage, so the left side is wide open. I'm going to take this safety just for this play. He got pancaked. <laughs> but we stopped him for a loss. This is a... Uh, we might be in a shootout. I mean... I could easily give up another huge play, and it's already 21 to seven. They're in the spread. Uh, they're in the shotgun again. They're gonna throw it. Uh, don't throw it deep. Oh, my, oh, fumble, fumble. Pick it up. Let's go. <laughs> I was watching the. Uh, I was watching the wideouts way down the field. I didn't even see the fumble there. I guess he got hit in the pass. All right, let's run the option. Let's run the triple option right here. Um, look, I mean, the 335 is also a bit of a problem because look at this. They're stuffing the middle right now. I'm going to have to break it outside, I think. Yeah, that would have... Oh, gosh. Ooh. Look at that. Another stiff arm. This guy's unstoppable, man. This guy... Take that and like it. I should probably edit those signs. I think we can do that. That was a, see that is a dangerous pitch though. I kind of threw it to his back shoulder, but then he just told that guy to take a seat. Take a seat on the wet grass. It is raining, right? Sometimes it's hard to tell. No, is it? I thought it was raining, maybe it's not. Yeah, it's raining, you can you can see the little, it's not really heavy rain though. You can see it on the field. It's kind of, this field's kind of dark, but you can see it. All right, 28-7, we are rolling right now I think our running our running back has to have over 100 yards now he got that huge run there we finally kicked it off to the right trying to pin them over here to the right just like that there we go alright guys so this game I haven't stuck to the you know We'll Look at 232 total yards already. Yard line, I haven't stuck to the true man. triple option, but that wasn't the game plan for this series. Like, look at this. That's right up the middle. Um, I mean, my game plan is basically a flex bone spread combo. And I've also got a couple pistol formations and the pro formation. I mean, if you, you, you could run triple option every single play, and you'll probably beat quite a few teams, even on Heisman difficulty. Um, 
You know, there's just makes me nervous. Get it. Attack on. There we go. Wrap up. But yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm running some pistol. I'm running a pro formation. I'm running some shotgun spread. Uh, because I, I want to be, I want to try to be a little balanced. I mean, even if I'm running every play, I want to at least mix it up a little bit. So I'm not just, you know. Some of these plays in triple option are also difficult to run. There's option left. Oh, oh, I thought he stepped out, didn't he not? I tackled him on the ground, though. <laughs> Guys at a 20 yard average. So yeah, basically what I'm saying is I'm going to I'm going to run primarily triple option, but I'm going to mix it up a little bit. Um, I don't know. So we got Vanderbilt on the schedule next. Not to look ahead, but they're you know they're an SC, they're the worst SEC team in the game, but their roster is still so much better than ours. Not even close. I mean they got 80 80 overall guys still everywhere. Our best guys is 78. <laughs> so, okay, this may, I think they'll get, they may get one more snap off here, and then it'll be time for second quarter. I don't know what they're running here. Might be a pass. It is a pass. Oh, wow, okay. All right, that was our best quarter, obviously. I'm not, gonna score, I'm not going to score 28 points every quarter, I know that. Third and 10, they're in this tight formation. This is interesting. I'm going to jump right out for a pass. He's got all day to throw it. Oh. Put the tight end way down the field. That's So that's the problem here is that my side of the ball with this guy that I'm covering, it's either it's hit or miss. Like I'll either make a mistake or I'll get a pick or deflect the pass. But the the right side, it's it's really like a weak spot over there because all the quarterback has to do is throw an accurate ball. Oh, that oh that might be a touchdown. Oh, we got got to him though. Number five, the ball carrier. Yeah, I think that guy. I think he's a little bit faster than my quarterback. I think he's got just a little more speed and acceleration. Not by much, but maybe not. I, have to, I forgot. I have to. The ro I looked at the roster earlier. I had to go back and look at it. That was right up the middle. So yeah, I mean we're not. <laughs> we are not um, out of this. I mean it's 28 to probably 28 to 14, but I don't trust our defense to not give up big plays. I mean, eight plays, 67 yards, only less than two minutes. I mean, that big pla that big pass play on third and ten, that, that crushed us there. Or else we, had, we probably would have had them stopped if we could just got a little more pressure. Oh, it's a nice spin. Break it outside. It's going to round bounce it. All right, so what do I want to do here? I think I forgot how many carries we are number five. I forgot how many carries he has. I'm gonna run this with the uh, our backup here. So I shifted the blade left. I, I wanted to run it left side. I didn't like the look at the right there. Um, let's go to and half back and. Can we do fullback blast up the middle? I just got to get around that nose tackle there. Actually, this might eh, this might work to the right here if I can shift over. They jumped. There we go. Good run. Yeah, we'll take we'll take we'll take a jump uh, jump snap and get them for offsides at a time, but. More importantly, I like the first down run. All right, heavy right formation. We're just going to go up the middle with it. Oh, I saw the hole, but he... Oh, man. <laughs> there was a hole right there, but he he, moved, he uh, got off his block to the left, and if I 
If I had gone right, we would have had that. But I tried to cut it back in and follow the the design of the play there. Let's go option right. I may keep it if I get too far out here. It's going to work the clock a little bit. Maybe get him off sides again. Uh, oh, we tried to... Oh, gosh. Okay. That's... I, I probably should have just held on to that. I was, I had enough room to pitch it. And right when I tried to pitch it, I got hit. It's hard to time... I mean, you have to time that perfectly. And if you're running head on to somebody, that's the risk you take there. So that was that was my mistake. Obviously, I'm the only one playing this. <laughs> oh, quick pass. Wow. That's the risk with options. you got to time up that pitch perfectly. And I think... This quarterback, he's fast, but you got to remember his overall is only 56. I mean, that's probably, I bet that's bottom half of the conference. Even for FCS, it's not great for the quarterback. I mean, he's the starter. There's a, I don't know if I, it's not a sack, but it's a tackle for loss for, for this guy. All right, so they're right back. We got him right back at third and 14. Third and 14. We've got to get, I mean, we have to give up off the field on third and plus 10. Like, that's, we can't let them pick up these first downs. I don't know where they're going here. i got to cover both. Oh, nice. They had two guys running to the left deep, and I was like, I don't know who to cover. But <laughs> we will take that sack. I think that's the guy that filled in for him, for our, our injured uh, defensive end. I will take a coverage sack, even though if they had just thrown that ball, there's a good chance it was going to be caught, depending on which guy they threw it to. Can I get... Oh, that blew back in. I'm going to call for a catch there. Or the guys are running right at me. Alright, let's go back to... Uh, let me think. I like this. I want to keep trying this formation. It's Especially with 335 when they run man, they're in zone right now, maybe. I think they're in zone because they got everybody split out on the right side there. Well, let's just try it again. Just, I'll keep, oh my gosh, man. <laughs> I didn't pitch it that time, he just dropped the ball. Goodness. Not to give this guy a break, let's just hand it off. Yeah, I mean, fumbles are a problem on Heisman, and I don't mind it too much. The reason why I don't mind it is because if you, like, oh my gosh, okay. That's the other problem. So those, I just, the last two plays, we just witnessed the two problems with Heisman difficulty. Or not problems, but they're just what you're going to see. <laughs> so my quarterback dropped the ball, and then the defensive tackle just blew up my center and tackled for a three-yard loss. So... Ball on the that's gonna that's gonna continue to happen, and I'm okay with it because I'm gonna I'm not gonna have any restrictions recruiting, so I'm not just but I'm not gonna be able to run just any play I want to. Like let's let's go with the wide receiver curls here. Might fling it out to the running back. Oh, he's wide open. Wait, wait there you go. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh my gosh, break it. Three touchdowns. This guy. Maybe I'll get our quarterback back in the game there. He's, he was struggling the last two, last couple plays, but that was perfect. Right in the line. So that play, if you let him run to the uh, to the near side, just let him run a flat out there, and then when they get to the end of the sideline, they'll either stop or they'll cut up field like that. And that time he actually cut up field, and it was perfect. We're putting up points. Uh, our offense is not going to be a question, I think. I don't think. I want to get back into running triple option, like you know, multiple times in a row. So I'll probably do that here in the next next possession if we can stop them. See if we can kick this one deep. I angled it up a little bit. What are they doing? All right. So yeah, um, I think I got to this a little bit last game about 
I, I or maybe I didn't, but I, I don't. The reason why I don't stream is because I, I don't have like a selected hour, or I can't, I, I can't just block out um, a significant amount of time to just sit and stream for an hour or two hours. Uh, I've got a dog, a cat, and a fiance at home, and sometimes I mean my schedule's not like busy, but it's a little unpredictable, and I may have to like pause the game for a few minutes or. Yeah, you know, well, sometimes what I'll do is play play one half. Or I used to do this. I'd play one half. Oh my gosh, that might be a touchdown. Okay. So yeah, like I, before I started recording, I would play like a quarter, or a half, pause the game, save it on PC XS2, load it back up, finish the game the next day or whenever. Um, that's the best thing about this uh, PC XX PC XS2. Is you can save your save your states just like a snapshot on virtual machines. So it's pretty cool. Oh my gosh, what are they doing? Thought I might strip it there. <laughs> that was a weird play. Was that a draw? It didn't go as a sack. I guess that was a draw. But yeah, so I um, I think I'll, I'll be able to get through this whole game. I don't think I'll have any pauses or breaks. And if I do, I'll, they'll be cut out. Uh, but if I was streaming, you know, I don't want to just have people Yep. I don't want to pause the game and have people just sitting there on a pause screen for 10 or 15 or 20 minutes, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> so, with that said, I do uh, I do encourage, like, comments if anybody has suggestions or just, you know, if you want to try this idea too. Oh my gosh, I don't know what they're doing. Oh, he caught it, but out of bounds. So yeah, it's it's fun. I mean, it's uh, NCA 14s all the cra all the rays right now. Crazy. What am I saying? Um, college football revamped. I've read some on Reddit about that. I think it's pretty cool. But uh, I never actually played. I mean, I played NCA 14 with friends, but I never actually owned it on on my PS3, um, which is kind of odd. But I mean, I just love the classic games. I love 07, 09's pretty good. Uh, I mean, yeah, I even play, I have 05 still on disc. I have, uh, I think I started with 03. Um, now I'm born in 95, so I mean, that was that was a long time ago uh, when 03 came out. All right, triple option, let's just keep it here. Didn't get much, but we'll take it. Oh, I thought I got more than that, only two yards. So you can see, I mean, their defense is not bad. Like that, they covered that pretty well with their with speed on the outside. Uh, I've just been able to get them in the right formations when they're playing man. Let's just try to. I'm, I, I'm nervous about that defensive tackle there, but uh, bounce around. Oh my goodness. Okay. We'll actually take that. That's four yards, and that's what the triple option does. You get it to that guy, and sometimes he'll fall forward for five yards. Other times he'll get hit in the backfield. But uh, uh, what do we do here? Going back to the spread formation. This might actually work. I'm going to drain the clock a little bit, though. Yeah, hand it off. We got it. So that was P.A. Reed right there. Um, I like P.A. Reed. It's, it's one of my favorite plays to run with any team, really, because it's it's basically an RPO. Um, sometimes your old line doesn't block very well, but if they blitz, you can just fake it to the running back, and if, as long as they don't tackle them, you just swing it out, and something, you'll have a lot of open space sometimes. Quarterback choice, that's not going to work. They covered that one pretty well. Look at the time of possession. They're, uh, we've scored so quick, we're not controlling the ball very well. Or very long, but up by 21 points, so I'm not complaining. Um, I'm not sure what their shift was there inside, and then they're covering. Oh, break. Oh, my goodness. Number five on the run. Got stuck in the blockers there. I almost broke it to the outside. Third and nine. Do we want to? Do we? Should we try to throw it here? Or go speed option. 
Ball on the 38 yard line. Well, they switched that way. Maybe if I It looks like that just is like that one corner right there on a blitz. Yeah, let's I guess we can try it. Oh they handcaked our guy though. Oh we might we'll get it though. Oh yeah. Another broken tackle. Stay in bounds. <laughs> oh no. That's not good. So this is a problem if we have injuries. I have no idea what I'm going to do. Uh, that guy's not a scrambling quarterback. Um, hmm. And he's not, he's really not much better at throwing either. That's the biggest weakness of our team is the quarterback position, I think. Or not the biggest weakness, but it's definitely not a strength. Uh, that, uh, I tried to just hand it off there, but they blitzed and that did not work. So I want to, I'd like to get in field goal range. Oh, our quarterback's back in. Okay, good. It was only off for one play and a timeout. That helps. But yeah, I don't want to get anybody hurt. I, I especially on offense, because that's going to change everything. If we, you know, if our running back goes down or a quarterback. I uh, don't know what to do here. Let's hit. Oh man. That was actually a pretty good throw. I just got, I think I was just a little late, and when I scrambled, they shifted over a little bit. Third and eleven, ball on the forty-three yard line. All right, they're in dime, so they're matching us straight up, corner to receiver. This may actually work here. Oh, they brought him. Oh, that was actually the defense there. Um, I guess I'll just. What do I do here? Oh, they called defense. What? Okay. No, oh, no, I called that. I'm sorry. I thought they called it for a second. I was debating on calling it, and I accidentally hit the... <laughs> you know what? Actually, this is okay. Um, I'm going to go for it here because I think if I get it, I may get close enough to field goal range, and if I don't, I think we can hold them without a touchdown. Oh, or we'll get sacked. Okay. That. I probably should have waited a few more seconds. I was debating on calling it, and I accidentally hit the select button. It's kind of sensitive. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, well, just no big plays here. I think we'll be fine. Maybe even force a turnover if we can. All right, nice. Good tackle. Four seconds left, I think they're, yeah, four wide, they're throwing it deep here. Um, I guess we'll go cover two, cover two man. Um, oh, this always makes me nervous on the right side, we've just got those two guys over there. And he's, oh gosh, okay. Oh, I caught it, what the heck. I tried to, uh, I tried to deflect the pass there. I guess it, oh, what happened here? Uh, I just did it late. That's all right. Got the tackle. Good first half, guys. I know I didn't run triple option a ton, but you know, you, I, I, that's why I have a diverse offense. It's it's going to be. I mean, we ran it 23 times, only threw it twice, so I think that's pretty acceptable. And again, this is on Heisman difficulty. And Heisman, it's. I remember back in the old games, Heisman was like impossible. Like not old games, but like 03, 04, or maybe not 03, but and they're like 04 and 05. It was really, really hard. It's still pretty tough in 07. I mean, you can't just do whatever you want on offense. But we're looking good so far. Our defense is playing really well. That's surprised me because we did not look good on defense. So the Georgia Southern Eagles. We'll be kicking off to start the second half. Alright. Start the uh, third quarter here. We get the ball. Kickoff return. A solid return. I don't know what something I don't know what's going on outside my apartment right now. We got uh this is just maintenance over here in somebody else's 
on somebody else's unit. Let's go back to our pro formation, our running backs in the zone. See if we can break another one. Great jump, but it was on the left side. We got space. Another stiff arm. It's pretty good average. So in this, I think in this half, I really want to run the clock. Um, and I'm not, I'm not gonna like. I mean, I don't know. I kind of want to do ball control with this team anyway because my defense is so fragile that. Oh, we got that. I, I could have kept it, but we got that block there on the edge. I thought, I thought I was gonna get hit, but it worked out. Another first down. Let's stick with this again, but we'll go. First and ten. Ball on the forty-one yard. See if we can go up the middle, maybe. I was, I'm nervous about running it to that dot defensive tackle, but we got momentum. We're three scores ahead. It's fine. Just trying to clock a little bit, break it away. That's a good run. Solid run there. I mean, if that guy can average five yards a carry, then I think we're we're doing pretty well. Shall we go back to option run? They're not in zone. I mean, they're not in man. So, oh, and they shifted right. They're starting to figure out what we're doing here. <laughs> Switch it up a little bit. Uh, yeah, that was a good audible there. So, it actually it actually is pretty cool. I think. I think, I mean, if you run the same plays, like, every time, I think the, the computer and the defense, they'll start, they'll start to realize that. Like, they'll start stacking the side of the ball that you're running to. So, let's see what they do here. They're in 3-4. They shift in a little bit. And linebackers do, but, I mean, we can run with this. It'll be all right. Let's see how we get some blocking here on the right side. Oh, we got offsides, though. I'll take that. So yeah, guys, I'm uh, First and five. Ball you know, I, I, again, I'm I'm not doing this for views. I'm just doing this to upload the content because I really enjoy playing this game, and I think it looks really awesome in this uh, PC XS2. I know NCA 14. You know, I may I may start getting into playing that, but. Uh, break that tackle. Let's go, man. Guys, I mean, he's a solid backup. He's not even that... He's, the overall's not that good. But he's solid. Uh, but yeah, I might get into playing a 14 again, but this is probably my favorite of the genera uh, my favorite my favorite game of the series, to be honest. Uh, it's either this or 09, but honestly, I think I've played this one so much more that it's it's got to just be this. Um, let me run this play real quick. I'm, I think this will work. They're in, uh, they look like they're in man. Oh, wow. Okay. That guy just, I mean, he shoved the block. He shoved his, uh, that defensive end, but right in my way. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, like, I'm not doing this for views. I'm not doing, I don't have anything to advertise, nothing to promote. I'm just doing it for the content and the, you know, enjoyment of playing the game. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you guys, like, I'm not streaming, but I'm, I am I will reply to any comments, so if anybody's watching this, you know, if you have comments, you know, put it up on the video. That's a, that was a really good read there, and we, oh, slammed into the end zone, nice. <laughs> so that was the QB read, pulled it from the running back, that was actually really quick, set up the blocking on the left, and then, yeah, it's stiff arm there at the end nice all right we're blown away with this one now guys that was a good good drive there three minutes i've got eight minute quarters um so you know if you think three minutes that's like it's close to like six minutes you know if you double it double the quarter you're just over 15 minutes so good drive there but yeah Send me comments, uh, any 
maybe like if you if it, maybe somebody I'm sure somebody watching this or somebody out there has done this kind of setup where you put in a bunch of Division Two FCS teams. It's pretty fun, you know, because the first season or the first couple seasons when I I did this on a simulation mode. Sorry, give me one second. Um, yeah, so I did this on a simulation mode, and you know, your Mountain West schools, your WAC schools, conference. Uh, well, no, I put out, I took out Conference USA, but uh, it's like your Group of Five schools do. You know, they're in the top twenty-five. <laughs> Uh, and then eventually you'll start seeing these FCS teams. They'll start recruiting big-time players. Um, so that's pretty fun. Right now our defense is rolling. We're, we're just playing man. I, I'm, straight, I'm straight up playing man because I don't... I, I, I'm okay. I think we won't give up a big play. And they're, they're still sticking with the run. Oh, fumble. And we're turning it... And we're forcing turnovers, man. This is... What a difference here between the first week of the season. <laughs> After that first week, I was like, this is going to be a long season if we can't stop anybody on defense. But yeah, send me comments, send me ideas, send me things you've done before. I think it's really cool what you can do with this game. I know. I mean, create a school mode is fun too. I've got a separate, I got a whole separate dynasty for that. Oh my goodness, we are. In the end zone. Oh, touchdown. Let's go. All right, this is a uh, this is now a blowout, guys. I think we've we've got our first blowout. We struggled so bad with Preview A and M, but they can't stop the the edge, the right edge rushing on this. And our O line is not even that great. I mean, it's not like we have just a power O line that's just destroying them, like. 49-14. I think it's about time. Yeah, we're gonna we're probably gonna let number five sit out the rest of the game. I don't want to get him hurt. This doesn't look good though. Okay, good tackle. Yeah, this is uh let's let's just try to get them to keep running the ball. We're gonna run clock next time we get it. I don't think they're coming back from this. It's five touchdowns. That's a good spin though. Number seven on the carry. Gain of eight. Yeah, 339 rush yards. That is exactly what we want. Now, not every game is gonna be this easy. Um, if you're watching this, most likely when I've probably already released most of the other games on YouTube. Um, if you want to see me struggle, I would suggest watching the next game because I don't think there's any chance of beating a Division One SEC team. And I know they're Vanderbilt, but they're still good. Put them in the Sun Belt, and they'd probably win the conference. And put them in the SOCON, <laughs> the Southern Conference, which is basically what we're playing right now, and they would destroy that conference. So, um. You know, I say that, and who knows, but I, I don't think there's any chance on beating Vanderbilt next week, or week three. Okay, that's not good either. We cannot have guys getting hurt that are a top five players, man. That's He's our second best player in defense. Actually, he might be our best player in defense. I think he's better than the linebacker. First and ten. All right, now I, uh, let's see. I don't really know what to do. I guess we'll just hold on to the safety here. Oh, of course they throw it. First play, they take a shot. At, oh, my gosh, dude. That was genius coaching right there on them. I'll give them that. Our star corner goes out. You run play action, take a shot at the backup. That was beautiful. <laughs> I'm up by four touchdowns, so I will happily admit that was a really good play by them. Uh, yeah, I'm probably not going to get any blocks on the kicks here. If you want to see how to block kicks, watch some of my other games. Hawaii State, my created school, I get a lot with them. I probably got like four or five of them already in the first season. So yeah, watch those. That's a wobbler kick. Oh, wait, yeah, this guy's a backup, too. I don't even know who's... Oh, my gosh, everybody's getting hurt, man. 
There's another cornerback down. Yeah, let's run clock because our we got guys getting hurt. Let's check this. Uh, uh, Twenty. Okay, he's okay. At least he's only out for the game. I can live with that. Uh, look at our defensive ends. Though. I mean, our defense is getting demolished. Man. Maybe one second. I'm going to let number. I'm going to let our star running back take a rest. I mean, everybody's getting hurt. The worst thing would be to be the worst thing to do would have a, to be to have a four touchdown lead and have our our running back get hurt. <laughs> would, They'll start the drive. Must be a disaster. First and ten. Let's run it left. I think. Yeah. There we go. They can't stop the run. I mean, that's just right up the middle. Oh, look at this guy. He's got eight yards per carry, two touchdowns. That's our 50, 50 something overall backup over there. Um, I'm about, I'm, I'm nervous to run it with our third string. I don't want him to fumble it, but. Second and one. Ball on the 35 yard. Abdominal strain, yeah. It's okay, man. I would not want to play with that for the rest of the game, so I'm good. Take a seat. I'm running clock here, so just bear with me on these. This, this uh, this drive. On the run. Three yard gain on the play. So yeah, PC XS2. This is emulation. I got it set up. I built a gaming PC. If anybody's curious, I built a gaming PC uh, two years ago. It was 2018. No, 2019. Yeah, two years ago. And it's it's not even, like, I mean, even back then, it wasn't, like, top of the line. Like, I have a 1660 Ti. Like, we're getting, I don't know how that worked. They had a great jump, but we still bounced it outside. Uh, yeah, I got a 1660 Ti graphics card. My CPU is AMD Ryzen 2700X. Um, 16 RAM, and I only got I got a one terabyte SSD, so my storage is not like crazy, so I don't have a whole lot of storage out here. But it, it's fun. I love playing these old games, these classic games, PS2, GameCube. I've got some SC, uh, Super Nintendo on here. Um, oh, they flattened our tackle. <laughs> Uh, Donkey Kong is probably Donkey Kong and Super Mario All Stars. I love that version. Uh, Super Mario Three, some of my favorite games. Probably Donkey Kong is probably my favorite series. The only reason is I was born in '95, and that series, you know, came out '94 through '96, and that was the Donkey Kong Country was the first first game I ever played. I think I was like six years old, maybe. I don't really know how old I was, but it was with, uh, it was actually at my grandparents. It was actually with my, my grandmother. Um, so, you know, I've got memories of that game. And obviously I played, I played Tropical Freeze, um, but I may, I may post like more stuff like that. Um, you know, the Donkey Kong series, it's pretty, sh it's pretty short. Like it's not like it's gonna take up a lot of time and storage so third and three can we pick this up oh gosh no we can't okay i probably could have uh, left it with the running back there but but yeah guys i mean i know if you're watching this it's there's a 99 percent chance you're watching this because you you play the ea football series <laughs> um but yeah i've got other games i'll play um, Number 13, back to might just, oh no, I can't take it to the quarter. We'll snap it here with like two seconds. Yeah, I may play some other games on this channel though. Let's big hit them. Boom. All right, fourth quarter. I think we got this, guys. 49-21. Yeah, let's just not give up a ton of yards on defense right now. Let's, uh... Stick to what's working, double spy. Hold on to the safety so they don't break a huge play on us. Alright, 
this play there. Number 54 makes the tackle. Eight tackles to that guy. I would. I think it's a little too early to set out the defense because yeah, you know, if they brought, if they could easily. I mean, they've got all they got to do is get it to number seven in the in wide open space, and they could break a touchdown on me. So let's wait at least one more possession, see if we can get a stop. That's another good play there. Number six, the ball carrier, gain of four. All right, third and seven. I don't want to call it too early. I think it's. I think the game's already over. But if we get this stop, then I don't think we have a chance. Let's go. We're gonna play some zone here, though. We're gonna throw. Oh, we're there. Oh, nice. Yeah, there he is. That's the zone defense. Look at this pick. He just stood there and picked it off. He didn't even move. All day to throw, but <laughs> just let us receive it too far. I was there with the safety, but I think we might have been a little bit late, to be honest. All right, uh, let's just keep. Let's just stick to the handoffs. My, I don't want to turn it over. I mean, this is this is what we want. We just want. Positive runs, run the clock down, no turnovers. I mean, I want to run options, but I don't know if I'll even do one the rest of the game, just because I don't want to turn it over in a lateral. Who's that? Oh, that's the guy that got hurt in the kickoff. That's a, no, he's out for the game too. That's okay though. Only one quarter, but we're already in the fourth. Good blocking on that one. Look at this guy, man. That's a third string running back breaking tackles up there. I feel like some people may say the stiff arm is a little overpowered in this game, but I mean, in real life, like if you watch the college football game, like I mean, honestly, if you watch any game, like people break tackles and they shove defenders away with stiff arms, like. I mean, I'm not saying you're going to throw a guy to the turf every time you do a stiff arm, and that doesn't even happen in this game. I got a couple of them with my running back. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, he's an impact player. It's like having your best player as running back making plays. Like, he's no Derrick Henry, but on this level, I mean, he's one of the best players in the game. Or in the, you know, in the current game. So, I think it's pretty realistic. I mean... The other issue is if you don't stiff arm and just let them tackle you, there's a better chance you may fumble. So, <laughs> um, we might be able to get another touchdown here. I'm gonna hand it off to the receiver this time. When I get these guys involved in the run game, because I don't throw it at all. Except that that was not not ideal, but it's all right. Um, let's keep the spread at the goal line. I mean, I may just go for the field goal here. I'm not too concerned about getting another touchdown, so I don't. I I don't want to throw it. Even if I get stuffed here, I'm probably still gonna run the ball. Oh, we got stuffed, but that's okay. Let's just keep running. Do we want to throw it? I don't know. There's really no need to. I really don't need to risk anything, but I don't know. Let's see. Third and goal. I'm worried I'll like throw an interception. I'd rather just take the field goal, to be honest. Yeah, that's fine. We'll drain the clock down to about uh, about a little over four minutes. What will this be? We'll be up by uh, 31 points. So. Good win today, guys. This is a much better performance than last week. I ran I ran the game last week without running triple option and practice mode for this team. I had no idea how it was going to go. 
we didn't run it a, a whole lot in this game because I, I wanted to get a win. I didn't want it to be losing to Georgia Southern. That's going to be a, they're pretty much a rivalry for me because they're they're going to be so close to our our school. <laughs> I actually just went to Savannah uh, last weekend. So I, I live in Charleston, but I live just east of Charleston. But um, we, uh, I and I, and we took our dog. Okay, all right. Can we not do that? That's that's all right. There, let them celebrate. <laughs> oh, really? As long as he return. Okay. So yeah. Um, I will just run clock again. My uh, fiance and I, we took our dog and went to Savannah last weekend. I actually hadn't been there. Um, I'm not originally from Charleston, so. Uh, but it was a cool place. Uh, we went to, that was just a day trip. We went to Savannah, we went to Tybee Island. Georgia got an on-site it here. Oh, big kickoff, okay. <clears throat> that was a big bounce, I mean. But yeah, Savannah, it's a cool place. Um, it's it's really cool when you I mean if anybody has been to Charleston or Savannah when you it's really I mean it's really a true sister city because when you we come in from the the east side on 17 with a broken tackle uh, when you come in on the the Talmadge Bridge when you come across that it looks exactly the same as coming in from the east side of Charleston when you come on the Ravenel. The Ravenel Bridge is a lot bigger. Well, it's not a lot bigger, but it's four. It's eight lanes across, and the the one in Savannah is only four lanes. But you know, it looks it looks nearly identical. You got your your city off to the left side. You got your ports, and I think they have some docks there too in Savannah, right off to the right. Might have got a jump there. But yeah, it's a beautiful place. So I don't know. Do we have a school in Savannah that we play? I think that's where, is that where Georgia State is? It's not where Georgia State is, is it? Hold on, is Georgia Southern? I gotta look this up after the game. I may try to do it real quick. I know there's a college in Savannah, I just don't remember which one. Oh, maybe there's not a college in Savannah. I mean, there's colleges there, but I was trying to look it up real quick before I ran that play. <laughs> All right, so uh, we'll worry about it later. Is it Savannah? Uh, what is it? Savannah. I mean, the Savannah College of Art and Design. Obviously, that's a big one, but. But yeah, we're we're running from Charleston, South Carolina, the Citadel Military School here, and I think their camp their campus is actually in West Ashley, I believe. Or no, is it? I think it's in West Ashley. I'm not really sure. I have it. I have to get that up again. Oh, you might be able to hear that in the microphone. <laughs> They're driving away. It's not me. All right, I'll try not to ramble <laughs> anymore on these uh, in the end of the game here. But yeah, good win today. I mean, you guys can easily. I'm gonna put. Uh, I gotta really jump. <laughs> I didn't snap it though. Um. Oh wait, pan oh look at that. How about that? They got a pancake the deep of the tackle. Uh, I'm going. I think I'm gonna put timestamps in the description. So. I mean, like, obviously, if, if 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 people are watching this, like, feel free to, you know, skip around. Like, you don't have to watch the whole thing. But um, this game's pretty much over. I don't think there'll be any more scores unless I break off another touchdown. I may just go down though. I don't want to make the game any longer. Uh, nowhere to go. That's all right. Third and nine. I mean, I'm not passing it. I'm still running it. There's literally just a minute left. So yeah, next week, I guess now we can officially look ahead. 52 to 28. We get the player of the game. He had only 14 carries, 185 yards. He had a receiving touchdown. 
I don't know if this is gonna work here. Let's go uh it's audible to the to the right here. This this looks pretty good actually. They don't they're not shifting. Oh they jumped. <laughs> well that'll drain the clock even more. So we can look ahead now to Vanderbilt. So Vanderbilt is I mean I guess they're the worst team in the SEC. You can put Kentucky in that group in 07, but they have a, I mean, in real life, Kentucky, I think, went, they had a pretty good year. Maybe it was the, the last year, uh, the next year, excuse me. Oh, that's going to be the game right there. So, yeah, we got South Carolina, uh, no, Kentucky, that's what I was talking about. They're not great, but I think Vanderbilt's still worse. Um, I'll just sub out the offense here. So we got them, even though they're the worst team in the SEC, they're, I checked their roster earlier. I'll go through it again after the game. Um, I just don't see how we're going to win that. Even, I mean, we gave up 28 points to Georgia Southern's triple option offense. <laughs> I mean, it was an odd game because we scored a lot. And we had to play a lot of defense, but I, I just don't see how we're going to stop them. Even if we score one or two, I mean, we may score a couple touchdowns, but I think it's going to be like, I mean, it could easily be a blowout. I've played this game on Heisman with bad teams and playing ranked teams, and it's, it's really hard. But we'll worry about that next week. Good win today. We can, we're can we uh, 2-0 and in the SEC, guys. So we, our first two games were SEC conference opponents. This one, uh, Georgia Southern, they're – in the SEC East with us, so it's a good start to the season. Um, we're going to wrap this up pretty quickly. I'll, give it, I'll probably go through a few more minutes just to check the recruiting after the second week, see if anybody's jumped around a little bit. I'll check the game stats. So 469 total offense. We only throw two. <laughs> we only throw two passes. That's pretty cool. Uh, that's ball control. That's what I love to see. We didn't really – we actually just had a lot of explosive runs. I mean – 49 rushes for 413. That's pretty good average yards per carry there. Uh, they had four, of course, four turnovers. That's I didn't realize that. So we got our quarterback rating. <laughs> it's not to be concerned. I'm more concerned with this running. Uh, 38 with a really good game for him. That's. Seven yards per carry, 113, two touchdowns. Quarterback with two touchdowns. It's our third string guy even carrying the load for the final few minutes. Uh, this guy at Pancake too. We got him. Play the game on defense. Well, our corner. We we played a pretty good game with him until he got hurt. We had an interception, several tackles for the loss. Oh, yeah, we did force two fumbles. I forgot about that. So, good game all around. Um, I I don't know what to expect with anything in this dynasty because I could easily go out and lose to a worse team. Um, all right, let's simulate second week of the season. Oh, that's, that was really quick. I, I enabled the – disabled the frame limiter, and it automatically just – Went straight through. We must have played a late game. But, uh, all right, so real quick, just going to go over into some recruiting. Uh, I'm not going to spend too much time on this because I've done it so many times, and that's not the most exciting thing. Um, let's, I really, I would love to get that halfback. It's from South Carolina. I actually know where that is. Georgetown. It's not that far from Charleston. <laughs> is that where he's from? Let's say Georgetown. Ooh, this guy. Location. Okay. Should be able to get that guy then. Yeah, Georgetown. That's really close by Charleston. It's only like an hour away. Of course, South Carolina's not that big of a state anyway. But uh, Nevada's still number one. Utah is probably the best roster in the game right now. Navy. Hawaii. Akron. Look at all these. I mean, it's just funny to look at all these teams. <laughs> Akron, Wyoming. Ohio. Air Force is up there. Fresno State, I think they're pretty good in in this game. 
or I know they're pretty good. I've actually, uh, I'll get into that later. Um, I wonder when we will see an FCS team come into the rankings. I wonder how many weeks it'll take. I mean, somebody's going to go undefeated or only lose one game, probably, or two games. Did we get player of the week in the SEC? It's a dude from my creative school. It's funny. <laughs> Good lord, man. Four touchdowns, 300 yards. Hey, there we go. Player of the week on offense. Nice. All right, we're going to wrap this up pretty quickly. Probably about 30 seconds or a minute here. 2 0 in conference. It's good to see. We're on top of the standings early on in the season. Uh, next game is not going to impact the conference, but it will. it may give us our first loss against Vanderbilt speaking of Vanderbilt there is look at this there is C plus and we are a D minus if I'm not great in papers but that's gonna be a challenge guys so we can't look at their roster I forgot their division one team we're gonna wrap it up peace we will see you next week against Vanderbilt